In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to take your chin rest off your violin so that way you can replace it with a new one. Stick around to the end of the video, you don't wanna miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. If you're meeting for the first time, welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, that way you get notified for when new videos come out. I do a lot of violin tips, product reviews, and other violin related videos. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to replace your chin rest using a chin rest screwdriver. And I'm gonna be sharing the entire process from start to finish on how you can remove your chin rest off your violin. First off, you're gonna need a chin rest wrench. And you can get this for a few bucks at a local um, at a local violin shop or a music store. I'll also provide a link down below in the description below so that way you can get a hold of a chin rest wrench. All right, let's go ahead and get to the chin rest removing process. Okay, so I have my violin on a flat surface. I usually recommend having a shoulder rest on the violin just so that way you have, you're able to get the violin elevated. You don't have to keep holding it in your hand. If you're, if you, if you're new to this, then uh, having a flat table working on removing the chin rest will certainly help. to release the tension and we're gonna release the tightness of the chin rest by turning this chin rest wrench to the left. So we're gonna try poking it in here and we're gonna turn it and then go to the left. And we're gonna continue this process until the entire chin rest is loose on both sides. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And I believe this might take about five to 10 minutes, depending on how new you are to this. You know, for me, it might take a little shorter because I've switched chin rest throughout, the, throughout a period of time. And I also want to point out that right now we're starting to get this loose and then this bottom plate is gonna, what, what it's doing right now is that this little, uh, the screw here is expanding this part over here, so it's gonna be loose on the bottom plate of the chin rest. So I wanted to be upfront about that. So that's how we're loosening the chin rest and you can see it's starting to wiggle a little bit. And then we're gonna do go on the other side. And then if done correctly, you should I'll even move this a little bit out. It should remove really easily. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like on the bottom. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have a piece of cork over here so the metal doesn't damage the wood of the instrument on the bottom. And uh, typically you might have uh, chin rests that have corks on both sides. I think this is a Guarneri style chin rest over here. And uh, this one has just a very tiny slab of cork, very, very refined. Uh, I think <clears throat> what, what it does is also it helps with the acoustics of the instrument. I'm not a luthier, so I can't say for certain about like the effects of the wood and of the instrument, but this is what it is. And let's say you wanna install a new chin rest. You would take the same screwdriver, the, the chin rest wrench, and then you just do the exact opposite and we'll turn it righty tighty. So we're gonna slide that back on and uh, we're gonna just line this up over here. I'm gonna tighten it by hand just a little bit so that way it'll be easier for us to screw the, the screw. No, I actually did it the other way, oops. There we are. Good, so now we're just gonna tighten it a little bit. And uh, also be careful not to tighten it too much. If you tighten the chin rest too much, it will affect the, the sound, and it'll also affect like how much pressure there is on both sides of the instrument, on the top and on the bottom. So you wanna be careful about that. Just, you wanna make it so that way it's not too tight, but it fits snug. That's my general rule of thumb, even as a performer. I noticed that when the chin rest is too loose, then the metal rattles. And bad things happen, so we don't want that. Good, so that is pretty pretty snug. Let's do the other side. I also wanna point out as I'm turning this, that this chin rest wrench may not work on all chin rests. I wanna be, be upfront about that. There are certain chin rests like the SAS chin rest, 
that comes with like a very specific screw. It's not like a double clamp like this one. Some of them, some of the SAS Chinrest, I think all the SAS Chinrest has like one clamp and that comes with a very specific screw um, alongside the Chinrest when you, when you buy it in the box. So there you have it. That's how you take the Chinrest on and off. And uh, make sure you hit the like button if you found value in this video. If you like the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.